When you think of Florida, many people think of our beautiful beaches, but all throughout our state is an 18 million acre wildlife corridor home to all sorts of animal and aquatic life. Wildlife that needs to be able to wander freely away from busy cities and highways. But there is one highway in particular that has severed that connection. I-4 was constructed 50 years ago right here in Central Florida to make it easier for drivers to get from one side of the state to the other. But while they made it easier for us, it made it harder for animals. And now that is about to change. I-4 is a major barrier to wildlife movement. So there's over 100,000 vehicles per day on there. And if wildlife did, did attempt to cross the road, they would likely be unsuccessful. And, and you know, motorists would likely hit that. They could swerve. And so for motor safety, it's very important for us. It took almost 25 years of planning and studying the movement of one black bear to finally make a wildlife crossing under this major highway a reality. The M34 is a bear that was tagged down in Sebring. M34 is the black bear that was tagged with the GPS south of I-4. They tracked his movements to find a mate and get food. But they noticed one major obstacle. Eventually couldn't find a way across I-4 and eventually turned south and, and went back and ended up on the, uh, the dike of Lake Okeechobee. Some people are passionate about preserving Florida's natural environment and wildlife, while others are encouraging all of the growth that we're seeing throughout the state and our economy. And some believe that this project shows there's a way to marry them both. We recognize that we have to advance our economy. We recognize that we have a thousand people moving here a day. We like that. And we think that we can balance the two out so that we can have, in essence, what would be Noah's Ark forever in the state of Florida. Businessman Arnie Bellini is part of the Florida Wildlife Corridor Foundation, and he believes our state is getting it right. We're very committed to helping work with all agencies and all governments to co-create a green infrastructure plan for the state of Florida. FDOT hopes to have the wildlife crossing fully open by next summer with a fence to guide the animals to it. Once a few animals take it and there's a scent trail there and there's a path, an animal path that's made, it's like a highway. It's like they created a new highway. So it doesn't take very long before they find their way. It's just fascinating, isn't it? Arnie Bellini, who you just saw there, he just invested millions to help launch the Live Wildly campaign. And that is going to teach locals and visitors about the wildlife corridor throughout Florida, which includes recreational opportunities like hiking, biking, and even camping.